All right, hey YouTube, this is CS3 Tutorials with my seventh tutorial of HTML programming and editing. All right, like I said, this time we're doing tables, and uh, I'm just going to start out by showing you a basic table, and I'm going to show you how to do borders. On the next tutorial, I'll do uh, colors and um, width, and I'll also be putting in, yeah, basically I'll show you how to do uh, background colors and borders. Uh, no, no, not borders, excuse me, uh, width. Width, uh, increase the width of your border so yeah it's it today I'm just going to show you how to make a border around your table uh, columns and rows and to create a basic table okay here we have um, your alley code uh, you don't really need alley code you can use any form any uh, like wordpad or notepad or any other HTML editor you want but uh, my first video of HTML tutorials was how to download alley code so Go to that one and you can download alley code if you didn't do it. Alright, now let's start out with the table. So basically all you do is type in table. That's your beginner tag for your table. And uh, basically table, uh, it's easy to, under to understand and also the basic command with table is uh, wrap it around, wrap table around in the tags um, and end with the table, uh, end with slash table. That's basically how it's done, but um, and here's how you do columns and rows. Okay, uh, a row is basically the uh, T R. That's column. That's for a table row. As you can see, a T R. As you, if you want to, it's easy to remember. You can do table and then row T R. That's what that you can make. That's what it stands for. And then T D is table is the table column. Um. I'm not really sure of a basic acronym for that, but uh, I'll probably figure something out. Okay, so we created our first column, and now we're going to create our row. Our uh, no, our first row. Now we're going to create our column. So in the first column, I'm going to have. Uh, I'm just going to put in. Um, let's see here. First, I'm just going to type in something basic here, and then uh, tr. There we go. And beginning tag and ending tag. For table for table columns and I uh, need to fix that. There we go. All right, table columns is this is the beginner tag. This is the ending tag, of course, and this is the beginner tag for table row. So let's go down one more, and we'll do our t second one. So I'll do TD, and I'll uh, just to keep it basic. Sorry for the uh, phone in the background. Uh, so I'm gonna do T TD, and there's our second column, and for our third, I'm just gonna do a third column and keep it basic again third ah no crap sorry guys TD third there we go okay now it's right okay so basically in the and also I need to end the table row by TR and there we go so here's our on our first column we're gonna have the rows first second and third and now I'm gonna do a new new row so TR you can you can put it next to each other next to them or you can just go down so and for tables you do not use the break and remember break is this so you do not need break you don't use break lines and tables you can but I, I suggest not using them because it'd be really really hard to get in there uh, and understand how they work and understand how they will uh, better format in tables but uh, I'll go into that in more advanced tutorials so alright now in the second row in the next rows we're gonna do TD I'm gonna keep it going I'm gonna put four Ah, four. There we go. And I'm gonna end it with TD. There we go. Okay, so in our second row, which I've started right here at the TR, I'm gonna have the row four. Uh, TD, and we're gonna keep it simple still. Fifth. It's TD. Okay. Okay. And to keep it simple still, I'm just gonna do it one more row and TD, and we'll do sixth. TD. Okay. Now we have to end our row with a basic slash TD or TR. Excuse me. Okay, so here's what the basic table is. We have we have, we start our table with the table tag, and then we end it with the table tag with a slash. Remember the slash? I'm, I review throughout the whole entire tutorial, all my tutorials. So basically, this is when you put a slash, it ends the tag for you. It ends where it stops. And uh, when you put stuff in between tags, it basically edits it so it's like that. So it's and the stuff in between tags takes the effect on of the tag. 
So TR, this is our first row, and in our in our first row of columns, we will have first, second, and third, and now we ended our first row. And here's our second row, uh, and we, in our second row, the columns that we have is fourth, fifth, and sixth. And now we ended our row, and we ended our table. So let me save this as table. I'm going to save this as table for you, and if it'll pop up anytime soon. And okay, here we go. I've got it up here, and um, hold on, let me go back down. Okay, yeah, okay, here's our, our table basically. So we have our first row right here, our first row, and our, in our columns we have first, second, and third. I know it looks a little different, but this is column, and this these are column. Uh, first is a column, second is a column, and third is a column. As same with fourth, fifth, and sixth. And as you can see, we on our first row we have those, and our second row we have those. And as we see here, and we have our table row right here, and it ends, and with a first, second, and third, and that ends our first row. And the second row ends with fourth, fifth, and sixth. So as you can see in the browser, it does show that this is the first and this is the second row we created. So that's basically uh, tables. Now I'm going to put a border around it. So uh, when you want to put a border, just go on top of and just go into the table and space it and put border. That's all you do. And then equals. And then you just put a uh, number. So I'm going to put one for it. And that's all you do to add a border. All I have to do is put us in the first table tag in the beginner of the table tag you just put a space type in border equals one or any number you want and that'll be the size of your border so let's hit F11 and here you go as you can see in our table we now have created a border so and uh, and remember this is the first row and this is the second row and this is the first column second column third column fourth column fifth column sixth column doesn't look this as you know this is columns but this is columns for the table in uh, HTML so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to uh, Sean. His link is in the description and probably to the bottom of the video near the in the black bar. Uh, his uh, l channel link is in the description. Um, I can't remember his username. Uh, sorry if I forgot it, dude. Uh, my bad. But um, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to him. He does awesome reviews and unboxing. Unboxing. You should see his Mac unboxing. It's huge and awesome. Um, so I just want to, yeah, that's basically all I have today. Uh, just basically go subscribe to Sean. He's pretty cool. Um, and you sh will all, and you will like his tutorials and uh, unboxing videos. So I hope you guys like that. And sorry, and Sean, again, we are, I am sorry for your loss. And I'm sure everyone else is too. Um, and also, I just want to say subscribe and rate to my channels, guys, as well. And also subscribe to Sean and rate his videos and all that. And also follow me on Twitter. My link is in the description over there to the right. And uh, I always update my Twitter. So follow me and you'll always be updated. Okay. And subscribe and rate to my videos. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.